Call the regular city council meeting to order. Clerk, call roll, please. Alderman Puttoff. Here. Ferrari. Here. Waldorf. Here. Lacocious. Here. Perez. Here. Bradkey. Here. Mueller. Here. Sapienza. Here. Mayor Harrell. Here. Pleasure of allegiance. Alderman Waller? I was just notified by uh, police officer Scott DeGroote that the door to my barbershop uh, was shot out just a little while ago. So as much as I would like to be at this meeting, um, I will go over there and deal with the police and uh, get that window boarded up. So I'll be leaving. Okay, Alderman Waller. Okay, the presentation, Ann Butler is not here, but we do have the proclamation. I'll read the proclamation. Whereas preventing child abuse and neglect is a community problem that depends on involvement among people throughout the community. Whereas child maltreatment occurs when people find themselves in stressful situations without community resources and don't know how to cope. Whereas the majority of child abuse cases stem from situations and conditions that are preventable in an engaged and supportive community. Child abuse and neglect can be reduced by making sure each family has the support they need to raise their children in a healthy environment. Child abuse and neglect not only directly harms children, but also increases the likelihood of criminal behavior, substance abuse, health problems such as heart disease and obesity, and risky behavior such as smoking. Whereas effective child abuse prevent prevention programs succeed because of partnerships created among social service agencies, schools, faith communities, civic organizations, law enforcement agent agencies, and the business community. Now, therefore, I, Scott Harrell, as mayor of the city of Peru, do hereby proclaim the month of April 2015 to be Child Abuse Prevention Month in Peru, Illinois. Do we have a motion to approve and place on file? Yeah. Second. I have a motion to Alderman Mueller, second by Alderman Racky, to approve and place on file. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by aye. 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 All opposed? Motion approved. Public comment cards on any agenda items? Do we have anything? No, Your Honor. Okay, we'll go to, do we have a motion to approve the minutes and place on file? Uh, so moved, Your Honor. Second, Your Honor. I have a motion by Alderman Puttoff, second by Alderman Ferrari to approve the minutes and place on file. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. We'll go to committee, Finance Safety Services, Chairman Alderman Puttoff. Uh, Your Honor, in the disbursements for April 8th, year 2015, I present to the City Council the amount of $1,029,469.05. I'd like to make a motion these be approved, placed on file, paid in the usual manner. Second. I have a motion by Alderman Puttoff, second by Alderman Radke to receive the disbursements placed on file and pay the bills in the usual manner. Is there any discussion? I have a roll call vote, quick call roll. Alderman Puttoff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf. Lacocious. Aye. Perez. Aye. Radke. Aye. Mueller. Aye. Sapienza. Aye. Motion approved. Uh, Your Honor, we covered a great deal earlier in the meeting, uh, tonight's finance and safety services meeting as far as the budget and in addition to the economic development that is currently going on in the city of Pearl. So that's all the reports I have currently. Okay, we'll go to public services. Due to the absence of Alderman Waldorf, we'll, I'll defer to Alderman Lacocious. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, Alderman Mueller, you want to take the first sure. one? Um, Your Honor, uh, this evening we have a motion to purchase 2,500 tons of road salt for the 2015-2016 winter seasons from Compass Minerals delivered in the amount of $88.25 per ton. Uh, Chief King, do you have anything that you want to add to that? Yeah, this is a bid that we go out for every year. Uh, this year it's, it's about $20 and a few cents cheaper than what it was last year. So we wanted to stay with the same company and, and go ahead and, and uh, purchase this salt and go in contract with them. Thank you. Uh, Your Honor, I'll make that motion. I'll second it. A motion by Alderman Mueller, second by Alderman Sapienza, to purchase 2,500 tons of Rhone salt for the 15-16 winter season. Compass Minerals, 88.25 per ton. Is there any discussion? Have a roll call vote. Clerk call roll. Alderman Fodoff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Perez. Aye. Radke. Aye. Mueller. Aye. Sapienza. Aye. Motion approved. That's all for public services, Your Honor. City Attorney. 
Um, yes, Your Honor. The first matter on the agenda provides for an ordinance authorizing execution of a cable franchise uh, agreement between the city and Comcast of uh, Illinois. Um, I, just before the meeting, I received a call from the South City Attorney Jim McFedrin. And from the beginning, uh, we agreed with the city of LaSalle that both of our franchise agreements would be exactly the same. They have it on their agenda for this evening, and uh, so do we. But a uh, question uh, came up uh, concerning the calculation of the franchise fee. Not that it would be any more money or any less. There's, there's just an inadequate explanation as to how it's calculated, what items are included and when are uh, deleted. The uh, two ladies from Comcast were just came from LaSalle over to here and um, uh, they just uh, wanted to get a better explanation. LaSalle did. So um, my recommendation on that is just to table it for two weeks. We'll just go ahead and table it. Yeah, that's fine. Isn't it pretty much a lot of the fees, like the Internet, yeah, yeah, so yeah, but it, 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 they really haven't given a good explanation as to how how it is calculated, what's included and what's excluded, and uh, so somebody could just take the bill. Okay, I get this subscriber service. I, I don't get that, and then how they tie in together. And there's never been a really complete or adequate in our, in, uh, our mind explanation of that calculation. I think the main thing is that uh, when this agreement is uh, between the city and Peru and Comcast is made, they're not the exclusive provider. If the city has any other similar entities or a cable com provider comes in, that's certainly open to what the residents want. So they're non-exclusive in the agreements and have been for quite a few years. Always, that is correct, Alderman. It, it's always been non-exclusive. Um, any of the cable agreements, even when it began, actually, uh, cable, I think pretty close to began in uh, Peru with the old TV cable way back. It was one of the first in the country in the beginning, but uh, all those uh, franchise agreements have been uh, non-exclusive. So I actually use DISH myself. But um, The next is a resolution authorizing execution uh, by the mayor, city clerk, and uh, city treasurer of a closing certificate for the IMEA uh, power supply system revenue refunding bonds of 2015. Um, that resolution is as follows. The IMEA had refunded their bonds because of the reduced um, interest, and those were bonds were initially issued by the IMEA in 2006 and 2007. Uh, the refunding bonds uh, result in approximately $112 million in interest savings over time, which equates to a net present cash value savings of $65,000 which means an annual savings to all the IMEA members of about $5,700,000 a year. <clears throat> to explain uh, the total savings, I mean, that's over the whole term of the bond. And then what they do is discount that to present cash value. And the best way to understand that, if a dollar today is worth more than a dollar would be a year from now, because if you had a dollar today, if you got 1% interest, can't get that anymore. But if you got 1% interest a year from now, you'd have a dollar one, okay, or $101. And uh, so what they do is take the total interest savings and they discount it back by the interest rate on the uh, bonds. And that's why even though the total amount of dollars paid out in interest, would be $112 million less, the actual present cash value of that future cash flow is in today's dollars is 65000 And then to the member, um, the um, members would be $5.7 million per year. Um, but in any case, that uh, requires a closing certificate from all the uh, participants in that uh, bond issue, and this just authorizes the uh, mayor, city clerk, and city treasurer to execute that closing certificate. 
which again just re reconfirms the agreements that were uh, <clears throat> passed. You know, the city purchases its power from the IMEA, except to the extent that we uh, self-generate and we can't purchase from uh, anyone else during the uh, term of uh, that agreement. Okay. We have a motion to receive the resolution as written and read. So moved, Your Honor. A second. I have a motion by Alderman LaCosta, Secretary Alderman Sapienza, to approve the resolution as written and read. And as, as Attorney Swigert said, this nothing changes on we're, we're already under contract with the IMEA through 2035. Nothing changes other than you're saving $5.7 million per year in the agency. And that hopefully will result in some favorable electric rates. So we'll we'll see what happens. That part hasn't been determined because they just found out about the how much they were going to save. They were shooting for four million and they ended up at five point seven, so they, they did pretty well. But we have a motion by Alderman Lakosha, second by Alderman Sapienza. Is there any discussion? A roll call vote. Alderman Potoff? Aye. Ferrari? Aye. Lakosius? Aye. Perez? Aye. Bradkey? Aye. Mueller? Aye. Sapienza. Motion approved. I, uh, I will present uh, the ordinances on behalf of Attorney Herb Klam. There's an ordinance authorizing the execution of a land lease agreement by and between the City of Peru and OSF Aviation. So this is just an ordinance authorizing uh, the land lease that had been reviewed and recommended by Attorney Herb Klein. I'd like to make a motion that we accept this uh, this ordinance as written. I'll second that, Your Honor. I have a motion from Alderman LaCosha, second by Alderman Mueller, to receive the ordinance as written and read. Is there any discussion? Basically what this means is there's going to be another hangar built that will house the helicopter in uh, in our airport. Instead of a helicopter being outside, it will be in a building. Their living quarters will be in the building. It will be a pretty nice operation. Who is the second, Alderman Mueller? Yes. Okay, is there any discussion? I have a roll call vote. Alderman Paroff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Koshis. Aye. Perez. Aye. Bradkey. Aye. Mueller. Aye. Sapienza. Motion approved. Okay, we're at unfinished. Is there anything further from the attorney or? No, Your Honor. Okay, we'll have, uh, do I have a motion? Do I have a motion to reappoint Rolf Loveland to the board? So of moved, Your Honor. <laughs> Second, Your Honor. I have a motion by Alderman Pettoff, I'm Alderman Ferrari, to reappoint Roll of Loveland to the <coughs> Board of Fire and Police Commissioners. Is there any discussion? Have a roll call vote, quick call roll. Alderman Pettoff? Aye. Ferrari? Aye. Lacocious? Aye. Perez? Aye. Radke? Aye. Mueller? Aye. Sapia? Motion approved. Then do we have a do I have a motion to reappoint Jeff King to the ETSB, which is Emergency Telephone System Boards, or also known as 911? Second. Okay, we have a motion by Alderman Radke, second by Alderman Putoff. For Jeff King, is there any discussion? I have a roll call vote, clerk call roll. Alderman Putoff? Aye. Ferrari? Aye. Lacocious? Aye. Perez? Aye. Radke? Aye. Mueller? Aye. Sapienza? Okay, motion to reappoint Robert Pishka to the ETSB, also known as 911. Second. I have a motion by Alderman Mueller, second by Alderman Ferrari. Is there any discussion? I have a roll call vote. Quick roll roll. Alderman Puttoff? Aye. Ferrari? Aye. Lacocious? Aye. Perez? Aye. Radke? Aye. Mueller? Aye. Sapienza? Okay, Mark, the same for Mark Roberson, the ETSB, also known as 911. Do we have a motion and a second? So moved, Your Honor. A second. I have a motion by Alderman Puttoff, second by Alderman Ferrari. Is there any discussion? I have a roll call vote, quick call roll. Alderman Puttoff? Aye. Ferrari? Aye. Lacocious? Aye. Perez? Aye. Radke? Aye. Mueller? Aye. Sapienza? Okay, motion approved. Is there anything else under unfinished business? Okay, under new business, do I have a motion to appoint public service technician Eric Zabrowski as deputy building inspector slash deputy code enforcement officer? So moved. Second, Your Honor. I have a motion by Alderman Sapienza, second by Alderman Lukosius. Is there any discussion? Was this in his uh, job description when he got hired? Was it? Was okay. 
Yeah, this is done just so that if whoever's in the building during the day, if somebody comes in and needs something, then that person's authorized to handle it. Okay, that's 100%. Good, good. thank you. Okay, we have a motion and a second. If there's no further discussion, I'll roll call vote. Quick call roll. Alderman Puthoff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Lukosius. Aye. Perez. Aye. Brad Keith. Aye. Mueller. Aye. Sapienza. <clears throat> motion approved. Is, then, is there any further new business? Petitions, communications? Yes, Your Honor. I have a communication from Rodney Perez of Operation Promise, Inc., requesting permission to use Baker Lake and the East Shelter for their third annual color run walk fundraiser on Sunday, June 14th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. I make a motion to approve. Second, I have a motion by Alderman Puthoff, second by Alderman Mueller to receive the communication from Alderman, or from Rodney Perez of, of Operation Promise requesting permission to use Baker Lake in the East Shelter on June 14th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by aye. 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 All opposed, motion carried. Next, I have a communication from Peggy Kane, March of Dimes uh, Division Director, requesting permission to hold the annual River Valley March for Babies 5K Walk in the City of Peru on Sunday, April 26th at 1 p.m., and invite the mayor to kick off the event. I'll make a motion with grant him permission. I second that, Your Honor. Okay. Received a communication from Peggy Kane, March of Dimes Division Director, requesting permission to hold the annual River Valley March for Babies 5K Walk in the City of Peru on Sunday, April 26th at 1 p.m. I will be out of town, and that, that's a pretty nice event to, to uh, shoot the starter's gun, so if somebody would, would go, please please do it. Decide amongst yourself who, who could make it, because I'll be out of town. I've been there for the last five years and it's, it's a very nice event very good turnout and for a very good cause so hopefully somebody will will come up there we'll talk about it a little more have a little bit of time but i'll be out of town at that time so we have a motion and a second all in favor signify by aye. aye all opposed motion carried any other petitions communication no further communications your honor uh, just uh, uh give an update um we're uh, proposing to have a hearing on the annexation agreement with Northern White Sands and the affiliate of uh, Omnitrax. It's, it's just a formed uh, limited liability company on May 4th at uh, 6.30, but there'd be a notice published on that. There have been continual meetings with uh, Northern White Sands and uh, Omnitrax uh, concerning that uh, proposed development. I think we're uh, close, but you know it goes from here. It goes to uh, from um, my office to John Duncan's office, and then to Dallas for two in-house attorneys there, to Denver to their in-house attorney. So it's been kind of cumbersome on uh, on uh, that end, but I think it's close. And all of you have had uh, copies of those initial agreements. There's been uh, changes. Um, at the uh, last meeting, the uh, track build out on the um, Omnitrax uh, portion of the property will now begin at the far western side and then proceed east. And I think uh, Eric did a nice job at that uh, meeting getting them to switch their uh, development instead of going from east to west, from uh, west to east. And then that um, avoids, um, you know, until it's fully uh, built out, um, blockage of uh, Plank Road by uh, push-outs. But uh, uh, we just got that uh, today as a result of a meeting last week. So <clears throat> I, I think that's uh, uh, positive. But we would propose to have all of those uh, agreements, the uh, zoning and annexation, um, for and development agreement, probably for the meeting on May 4. That's the way it tentatively looks. Um, another matter that came up with the last meeting, um, I thought it was there, but I didn't uh, comment because you just get hit. But 16 years ago, there was an annexation agreement executed between the city and uh, James Hardy 
uh, that um, covered everything. I mean, all utilities, but it also uh, uh, covered the issue on uh, transformers that was brought up at the uh, meeting, and it's the city's uh, obligation to install those, uh, all the extend power lines to the property, uh, transformers, conductors, everything else, and also to uh, continue to maintain those uh, transformers without the cost of uh, too hardy, <clears throat> which traditionally has been uh, the uh, uh, city's policy on on uh, that for the uh, supplying of uh, electric. So that's all I have. Okay, public comment. Is there any public comment? Is there any public comment? Okay, is there any public comment? Okay, hearing none. We don't have a reason for a closed session, so I'll I'll ask for a motion for adjournment. So moved, Your Honor. Second. Have a motion by Alderman Ferrari, second by Alderman Radke for adjournment. All in favor signify by aye. Aye. Opposed? Meeting adjourned.